All right, so today I wanted to discuss the hypothetical of an NBA team building a brand new arena that has a retractable roof. Is it going to happen? Is it worth it? What's going to be going on with the future of these NBA arenas and how they're built? There are a few different trends when it comes to an actual retractable roof NBA arena. There's only been one that I know of that has been proposed recently, and that is the All-Met Resort Las Vegas expansion team proposal. You can see the different renderings of a potential retractable roof, the idea of it with the little slit at the top open. That All-Met Resort is not happening. That was around a $5 billion potential project, and it looks like Las Vegas will be getting an expansion NBA team, but it's going to be a completely different $10 billion privately funded uh, campus that they're doing, and it's not going to be a retractable roof arena. Or who knows, maybe it will be, but I think the general sense in terms of a retractable roof NBA arena, is it necessary? No. Would it be used more than twice a year? No. Honestly, it would pretty much just being an owner flexing how much money he has, especially if it's a private project, like just the idea of having a retractable roof. I'm guessing it would have to be in a, you know, a warmer climate, obviously, considering the NBA season played during many of the winter months. Although for the playoffs, it would be kind of cool. And I'm guessing another thing when it comes to potential retractable roof arena, they would have it open before and after games. It wouldn't be a big retractable roof. When you look at NBA arenas, the roof of them are smaller, especially in comparison to NFL stadiums and MLB stadiums. So it would just be kind of like a square little slit and you could very easily move the retractable roof on and off in the span of like three or four minutes. And maybe before the game, if it's beautiful out, you could have the retractable roof open as everyone gets to their seats, close up the retractable roof for the game. And then as the game ends, you could utilize the retractable roof and open it. And maybe if the weather is perfect, I know a lot of people talk about wind and wind is a huge issue the NBA they have played a few preseason games outdoors I actually did a video on this back in like 2008 and 2009 the Phoenix Suns played a few games outdoors and we've also seen college basketball teams play on aircraft carriers the big issue is the wind and the games are ridiculously low scoring uh, but I would say with a retractable roof arena, you would really be able to cut off most of the wind because of the arena surrounding the entire court, you know, so maybe it would be a little bit different to where even if it was maybe, you know, five miles per hour wind, you could have the retractable roof open in a warm climate, maybe like five or six times. I think it would be really cool to have the sun shining down on the court, you know, like for a day game, just in an NBA game, that's never going to happen. You also have like glare and reflection that they would never allow, but it would be kind of interesting. Either way, whether we get a retractable roof NBA arena or not, it's probably not coming for the next five to 10 years. What I think we will get before that is some type of translucent roof arena. Now the translucent roof we've seen utilized with SoFi Stadium, Allegiant Stadium, the new Tennessee Titans Stadium. I do think if an NBA team decided to go with a translucent roof on top of their arena, it would have to be a toned down version of it. You would not allow any type of sun glare into it because the Minnesota Vikings have it to where the sun actually shines into it. Same thing with SoFi Stadium. It would have to be more like Allegiant Stadium where if you look at the roof it just kind of gives off a cloudy look no matter what's going on outside in terms of the weather it could be perfectly sunny but the roof is just kind of looks cloudy and kind of drowned out but it still does allow for some natural light to come into the arena we've seen several different arenas do renovations over the past few years and over the next few years as well to where they're actually taking out seats in their upper deck and putting in a window to allow for natural light to come into the arena. And people always say, oh, you're obsessed with natural light. NBA arenas don't need natural light. Well, it's not an obsession with natural light. The the, the, the gist of it is natural light just looks better. It, it is what it is now. Yes, natural light really doesn't matter too much for NBA teams because 90 to 95% of their games are at night, so it's not going to really change anything, and especially with most games being played in the winter, the sun sets early, but in general, I would look for the NBA in the future to possibly incorporate more Saturday and Sunday games, and also during the playoffs, there's a lot of day games happening, so you're going to have more windows, you're going to have a lot more natural light, and a lot of these arenas that are being built are going to transition. They're not going to be college in terms of the capacity 
I will say the capacities are going down to about 18, 19,000. They're limiting them and putting in more suites. But the other thing you're going to see is a lot more natural light, like college basketball arenas. Now, obviously, college basketball has a lot more day games, especially on Saturday and Sunday. But just in general, you're going to be seeing a lot more windows. So when it comes to a potential translucent roof or retractable roof, I think the retractable might happen it's kind of going to be ridiculous. Although, let's be honest, we've seen with MLB teams, they'll have retractable roofs and the thing will be closed 95% of the time as well. It's a unique item to have. Is it necessary? No. Does it matter if you have it? No. It would be open like three times a year. It would be cool to see it open, you know, but it would have to be very calm in terms of the wind. But again, the wind, you would think the actual stadium or, or arena surrounding the retractable roof would be able to block out a lot of the wind on the inside. Obviously, if it's really windy, you're going to have to have it closed. But theoretically, they could have it open as long as the weather is nice. Um, and it would be just kind of a unique thing. It, it's certainly just it, it's a, it's just a weird accessory to have for an arena that I've really never seen. Of course, the Civic Center had it all the way back in the 60s, but it was always closed whenever they would play hockey games there. It's funny enough, you take a look at the JMA wireless dome, it might have the best translucent, I mean, kind of translucent roof for a college basketball or NBA arena right now, and the main idea and design of that was kind of mirrored after the Metrodome in Minnesota. They had kind of those open slits up there, and you can see it looks very nice. There's a lot of natural light that goes into that arena slash stadium because technically it is a stadium. They have a weird design hosting both college basketball and college football games. One of the things I've noticed some of the newer NBA arenas doing is incorporating the translucent light Amongst the concourse level area, the Detroit Pistons new Little Caesars Arena has a feature kind of like that, and so does the new Intuit Dome, which will not have any window or anything like that, the new arena that's opening later this year at the start of the 2024-2025 season, the new LA Clippers Arena. was kind of surprised that they didn't incorporate it, but the design of it is very strange to where it doesn't seem like they could really fit in any natural light window, but you can kind of see around it. There's going to be like palm trees on the interior. It's a real interesting design, uh, but either way, the next step I think we'll see in terms of NBA arenas will be the incorporation of some type of translucent roof and then maybe a multi-billionaire, you know, owner who decides to pay for the entire, I mean, you would think Steve Ballmer would fit the bill of trying to do something like, you know, a retractable roof. It's just, it, it's not a necessity, you know, it, it's an NBA game. It's not going to be open 95 but again, these teams in other leagues have done it where they'll build a retractable roof stadium and it'll be closed. Teams in Texas, teams in Florida, it'll be closed 95% of the time. It's almost not worth it. So I would expect mainly translucent roofs and very dim ones at that, along with a higher emphasis on windows, natural light, getting it via that way. And I, we'll see what happens with Oklahoma City. I know the Thunder, they still haven't released their renderings, but they're getting a new arena possibly in like 2029. The Spurs, maybe the Mavericks also looking to get new arenas. Maybe one of them will do some type of translucent roof. But either way, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.